ASML, the only company making the $200 million machine for advanced chips. Hello and welcome to another episode of China Record. Today we're going to talk about something that might sound boring, but trust me, it's super important. Semiconductors. What are semiconductors, you ask? Well, they're these tiny things that make all your gadgets work, from your phone to your laptop to your car. But they're not just simple pieces of metal or plastic, they're actually very complex and clever devices that can control how electricity flows through them. It's called chip or semiconductor. Semiconductors are the magic behind modern technology, and whoever makes them has a big edge in the global market. Now, you probably know some of the big players in the semiconductor industry like Intel, Samsung, or TSMC. These are the guys that design and make the chips that go into your devices. But there's another guy that you might not know, but is just as vital for the chip making process. That guy is ASML Holdings, and he's the only one in the world that makes a special kind of machine called an Extreme Ultraviolet Lithography EUV system. This machine uses a super powerful laser to draw tiny patterns on silicon wafers, which then become the semiconductors. The EUV system can make much smaller and faster chips than older methods, and it's essential for advancing the technology. And in this episode, we also look into how is the relationship between ASML and China's semiconductor industry evolving. But first, what is ASML? ASML, or Advanced Semiconductor Materials Lithography, is a Dutch company that manufactures lithography systems. Lithography is the process of transferring a pattern onto a semiconductor wafer. ASML's lithography systems are the most advanced in the world and are used by the world's leading chip makers, including Intel, Samsung, and TSMC, to produce the most advanced chips on the market. ASML was founded in 1984 as a joint venture between Philips and ASM International. The company's first lithography system, the PAS2000 Stepper, was launched in 1984. In the following years, ASML continued to innovate and develop new lithography technologies. According to ASML's site, in 1984 Eindhoven, Netherlands, Philips, an electronics giant, and ASMI, a chips machine manufacturer, created Advanced Semiconductor Materials Lithography ASML to develop and study lithography machinery. The subsidiary was just one of many competitors in the young industry and was challenged by insufficient customers, pulled investments, and the immense cash required for research and development R&D. Because of this, ASML's board asked Philips board member Hank Bott to invest $16 million, Hoffman. His investment was pivotal, it went to R&D, helped create the highest quality lithography machine of its time, and generated significant revenue to relieve ASML's finances. By 1988, ASML had five U.S. offices with 84 employees and a new Dutch office in Veldhoven that eventually became its headquarters. CNBC got an exclusive tour of that facility in March. In 1990, ASML introduced its first immersion lithography system, which uses water to improve the resolution of the lithography process. Immersion lithography is now the standard technology used in chip making. In 2017, ASML introduced its first extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography system. EUV lithography is necessary to produce the most advanced chips on the market. It is the only one company in the world makes the $200 million EUV machine. ASML's lithography systems are essential to the production of modern semiconductors. Without ASML's lithography systems, it would not be possible to produce the most advanced chips on the market. This makes ASML one of the most important companies in the semiconductor industry. What is a UV machine for advanced chip? All modern technology, ranging from your smartphone to military software, has the chips, the core. An advanced chip or semiconductor need a spatial machine to produce. ASML has a monopoly on the fabrication of extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography machines because each one of them is among the most complicated devices ever made. However, before UV, they had DUV to produce modern or advanced chip. Deep ultraviolet DUV lithography processes carve electric circuits into semiconductor wafers with processes of bigger than 7 nanometers. But then we have EUV or newer extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography technology achieves even smaller processes of 2 nanometers and beyond. 
This advance, which allows more electric circuits to be squeezed onto a chip, is vital to sustaining Moore's law. EV lithography is a new state-of-the-art technology developed by ASML. Its closest competitors, Nikon and Canon, are not working on this technology, and experts believe that it could take them decades to crack EUV lithography. This further establishes ASML as the only company that makes EUV lithography systems in the whole wide world. EUV lithography is the most expensive step in making the advanced microchips that power data centers, cars, and iPhones. The machines are made by only one company, Advanced Semiconductor Materials Lithography. ASML has sold a total of about 140 EUV systems in the past decade, each one now costing up to $200 million, according to Winning. The price tag for its next machine, called HiNA, will be more than $300 million. Next generation high numerical aperture HiNA EUV lithography systems are currently in development. They are anticipated to enable even higher resolution patterning, which should validate Moore's law in the foreseeable future. Today, ASML sells the machines to only five chip makers. The biggest three, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, Samsung and Intel, made up nearly 84% of its business in 2021. TSMC says that in 2019 it was the first to deliver high-volume chips made with EUV and that it has stayed in front ever since, with chip technology at least one node ahead of Samsung's and Intel's. ASML's dominance is a relatively new phenomenon. A decade ago, the company's ability to research EUV was decided by major investments from Intel, Samsung, and TSMC. How does AMSL relationship with China look like? As far back as 2018, the Trump administration reportedly pressed ASML not to sell EUV technology to Chinese companies. ASML has been barred from selling EUV lithography machines to China since 2019, but it had been able to still sell DUV systems to the country until this year, amid escalating pressure from the US. ASML does deal with China in another capacity. The company refurbishes older lithography systems called Deep Ultraviolet or DUV and sends many of those to the world's most populated country. Company said 96% of all machines ASML has ever sold are still working. Recently, the Huawei Mate Pro 60 contains Kirin 9000's chips, 7 nanometer NM, chips that have been made in China by the partly state-owned semiconductor manufacturing International Corp. SMIC. Without advanced EUV machines, SMIC and other Chinese firms need to make use of DUV lithography machines to make 7 nanometer semiconductors. Raising doubts about widespread profitable commercialization of chips like the Kirin 9000s. Beside China can't access EUV machine, China wants to make its own EUV machine. Is that possible? The creation of a single EUV lithography machine involves around 7 or 8 countries. For China to produce lithography machines independently, it would need to achieve self-reliance and innovation across all three critical components. As of now, the only glimmer of hope is visible in creating the light source. EV machines are made up of several modules with hundreds of thousands of components, from nearly 800 global suppliers. Each module is built at one of ASML's 60 locations around the world and then shipped to Veldhoven for assembly. After each assembled machine is tested, it's disassembled for shipment to a chip maker. The shipping requires 20 trucks and three fully loaded Boeing 747s. Before EUV, chip makers could buy DUV lithography machines from three companies, ASML, Nikon, and Canon. While Nikon in Japan is still a competitor in that market, ASML is the only option for EUV. Experts say it could take decades for any other company to catch up, both because of ASML's proprietary technology and because its build complex, often exclusive, deals with hundreds of suppliers. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below, I love hearing from my viewers. I'm also working on the next episode of the series, so stay tuned for that. I'll release it as soon as it's ready. In the meantime, you can check out my other videos on my channel. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate your support.